Hello, happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm Eric. That's Aaron. Howdy. We are checking out Bigger Beta, uh, which I guess you can get as long as you're an Xbox Insider. Which you just go uh, into the store to download. Yeah, so if you're, we can discuss how to get into that in a second. Um, we're trying to get into a game right now. It's matchmaking to Fisk Factory. Uh, Aaron's played a few matches, so he's going to be kind of our guide here today. But uh, why don't we show you that loading screen? Well, it says Fist Factory. Here, I'll prove it to you. Just kidding. Someone cropped my my <laughs> someone cropped my full game. Damn it, Mary and Mike, you guys are killing me. You've been cropped, son. <laughs> People be messing with the the setup. Anyways, it was Fist Factory. Couldn't prove it to you because the game thing, uh, my setup here got mixed up a little bit. But if you guys are trying to get into it, uh, to get the insiders, um app i guess is all you have to do in uh on your xbox is navigate to the store go to search you search for xbox insider hub and then you select get and install and once you do that you can then get vigor um so yeah you can try this out play it out it's from the uh same devs Dolphin Dev. that uh brought us arma and daisy it's uh, bohemia right interactive yeah I believe. Sort of the in the vein of uh, wandering around, collecting stuff, and then deciding to extract or uh, fight your way on an airdrop. It's uh, kind of like Hunt Showdown or um, Escape from Tarkov in that way. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it. I gotta be honest. Like right now, it's a very rudimentary game. Um, yeah, it's a new map too, as someone mentioned, because you were playing on uh, the the snowy map the other y- day, right? Yes, like I even was. yesterday, I think. So, yeah, it's a new map, Luke. Um, so apparently, just so you guys know, it's 1991. The nuclear war is over. Central Europe is devastated. Norway, Norway has become the last stand. You start as a nameless outlander, but who will you become? No time for uncertainty, though. Turn a shelter into your home, which we'll check out later. Fight, run, or hide. I mean, so, I, I mean, the answer is you're going to become Norwegian, I think. <laughs> Pablo, right? it's not so much a battle royale. It's more of like a um, survival game slash sur- like PV- survival PvP in a way, uh, but you're trying to es- extract, um, I guess, items, things like that. To uh, to take back to your main base and then um, build up your main base for what purpose? We're not entirely sure yet. I, it seems like as you build up your base, you get uh, resources mm-hmm. that are produced in your base, and I'm assuming you use that to make weapons because every time you die, oh, ammo box, uh, you lose it all. Oh, oh watch out! No, 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 out! Shoot him! Nope. You dead? And I got stabbed in that guy's junk. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, stabbing is the way to go. Yeah, I, you know what? Rob and I were playing yesterday, and we had a couple times where um, we shot at somebody running at us. I swear just the bullets all vanished and the guy stabbed us to death. So not not too sure about hit registration in this game yet. Again, this is uh, early access, so work in progress. Yeah. Um, I'm going to show you guys the base now because I got stabbed. <laughs> Can you play in a squad? I don't think so. I think it's just solo. Not for PlayStation or PC yet. Also, uh, crime. D- I'm not afraid to play Fortnite. That's not till tomorrow. <laughs> so is that your... Okay, so this is your base... This is where your dude or lady hangs out. Mm -hmm. Got a nice view. There's a shooting range in the back. But now that I've died, I have nothing. Um, So you lost your gun and everything? Everything, yeah. Oh, that sucks. So, like, these games, I would, this is just my personal opinion, but I would call Uh them gear bleed games. I feel like they're mostly designed, uh, like, supposedly they're designed for tension. I feel like they're mostly designed just to drain your gear. Um, for whatever purpose, I don't know. Like, you know, when you get into gunfights, you, you're just at huge risk of losing everything. And then um, you could get to a point in these types of games where you just don't have enough stuff to compete. And then you're just running around like knife Mc, McKnife guy there. Um, so here's the base building. You can see you can add things to your crafting table, scrap bin... Maybe a little bit of electricity. Um, you can customize your character. Here's your resource screen. You can customize your character, and um, let me just get show you guys the shooting range. It looked like there were some dance emotes and stuff in there. Beck Hansen, just so you know, uh, if you have the Xbox Insider 
program um you basically can play the beta for free right now um so yeah so here's a shooting range you can come here practice with your weapons the game does have aim down sights and it does have a pretty decent menu in the back for um customizing sensitivity both um aiming down sights and, and just walking around gotcha someone uh earlier mentioned i think it was ethan says like it plays like tarkov it does yeah and I'm curious for people who, because I know there are people out there who who like these types of games. Um, I think what they like is the the risk reward aspects of it. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it kind of de incentivizes gunfights because if you get into a gunfight and you lose all your stuff, then you're just kind of hose. I know Tarkov has a PVE mode to help out with that. Okay, so let me let me focus here real quick on you into a game. Yep. Cool. I need to make sure I actually have weapons. Uh, what's up, Zero King? Hopefully I didn't just queue in without any bullets. Senilios, this is Vigor. Vigor beta, specifically. Uh, right. And as mentioned, I had asked this earlier, but you weren't able to multiplayer, right? It's just basically you? There's eight eight people in a match, and it's okay. versus. Gotcha. So just far. Just want to make sure. I think on the website they said 8 to 16. I've only seen eight players currently. Okay. How's it going out there? So, yeah, like if anybody plays Escape from Tarkov or Hunt Showdown... Um, I'd love to hear uh, what it is about those games that that appeals to you. Like, uh, again, it could just be the the big risk reward mm -hmm. factor. Maybe it's that you don't necessarily want to get into gunfights all the time because it is such a risk. Uh, it seems like the incentive in this game is to go scavenge a uh, a couple of houses and then just bail with mm -hmm. your stuff so you can keep it and go into the next round. Makes sense. I mean, I don't know. As you had mentioned earlier, and we've only played a little bit, or you and Rob have played a bit, but it's interesting for you to be like, well, why do I kill someone else, right? Because you don't know how much stuff they have. In your case, when you died there, he got your gun yeah. and some other stuff, so that it was kind of worth it because he probably wasn't risking a lot with just his knife, potentially. But um, there's a question here from uh, Game Changer Dan. How bi Are the maps big? Uh, not so far. So far, they're actually pretty small. Uh, okay. th this is the whole map here. This is like the size of my character icon. So I don't know. Maybe we we'll go around the corner here and we'll explore this. So uh, this is like a. Is that the, are those exits? These are exits. Okay. You can leave at any time, kind of like Hunt Showdown. Um, so honestly, you just kind of want to scavenge. Oh, wow, I took a lot of bullets with me. Okay. Uh, let's go single fire. Currently, it's just on Xbox for those asking platform wise. Um, even on the uh, Bohemia Interactive or the Vigor Game website, it it only shows Xbox One. Uh, but who knows if down the road there'll be PC or something like that. But yeah, so I'm going to go take a hike and, uh, you know, normally I think you might not want to engage other players until you build up a decent arsenal. But you have a gun. Because <laughs> you can end up in, you can end up like Knifey McKnife guy there who actually, you know, to be fair, did pretty well. He killed you. Yeah, he did kill me with his knife. So maybe maybe knifey style is the way to go in this game. Uh, Luke says you really want to go after the airdrops. That makes the gunfights worthwhile. Okay, so there must be some good... S have you opened an airdrop yet? Not yet. The, so okay. the airdrops appear to be in a radiation zone, and if you don't take your meds, uh, then you get irradiated. Oop. And hopefully I don't get stuck in the geometry. Uh, what's up, Sagan? Sagan, perhaps? Um, Yansu, this is Vigor. Um, game Changer Dan says, It's a strange game for the Arma team to develop. The gunplay doesn't look as good as Arma either. Um I've also noticed some things such as when you're aiming, um, it doesn't exactly center. Like it goes like like I saw it. It was slightly like slightly to left, the right? left of where you center. Uh, your crosshairs, which I I know um, Battlegrounds had that problem when it. Can when you they go started. first person? Do you know? I you can only go first person like that. Iron okay. sights. Gotcha. And do you, there did you feel any aim assist? It didn't seem like it, but no. But the. Uh, not that I noticed, but the main menu definitely, or, or the options menu has a lot of options. Uh, well, that was a redundant statement. The options menu has a lot of advanced options for you to customize acceleration, customize how sensitive it is when you aim down sights. There's a lot of toggles you can throw to get it how you like it. I will say in this early access build, uh, it erased. Every time I turned off the Xbox, it actually erased. So your, your settings weren't saving. As yeah, well. okay. erased my settings. So, and you can do things I like in games like Shoulder Swap, and you can open windows, which I thought was kind of cool. So, like, if, right. if I need to bail out a window, you can do that. 
Time to get some some items here. Uh, yeah. The toolbox or the yeah. There we go. All right. I got a gas can. Sweet. Needed um, that. I I needed it to gas things. Are there vehicles? None that okay. I have seen so far. And we are. So we're here. We're just kind of looting. I guess we can work our way. I mean, we'll. The airdrop's going to take place somewhere in here, so we might as well circle in that direction. Okay. Grods is a survival shooter where you're, like, trying to essentially, you know, gather up materials, get those materials out so that you can further your you know, base, base and yeah. or, like, have materials for, like, the next fight, etc. Hopefully, maybe we can get um, an airdrop or see what that looks like and see, you know, how worthwhile that is because that's probably the you know one of the bigger things you're going after which is why other players are going after it which is why you would then you know get into encounters and fights and things like that but yeah it's not a br game uh because there's only 8 to 16 people and it's not necessarily like whoever wins the round wins the whole thing it's more it's more like you don't want to die because if you die yeah, you lose your stuff right you lose your stuff it's a you lose Survival. your stuff kind of game. We're gonna go scavenge. If so you need that more game audio, I can. The door's it. open. So. Nope. Yep. That door's open. So maybe somebody went through here. Try to boost the audio a little bit. Uh, how many players per match? Uh, I think eight to sixteen. So far, yeah, we've seen eight so far. Does it tell you that in the game? Um, like, or how, how did you know that there was eight, I guess? It just said that's how many we're matching in. Oh, okay, cool. This house is probably scavenged. You get full auto just in case this guy's still here. This is more like Tarkov, as someone mentioned, than it is like PUBG. So everyone yep, trying to make that. a guy. That. Really? Yeah, I saw Where? a guy. All right, I missed him. No fall damage? No fall damage. Not yet. <laughs> Although, uh, you got the ankle snags from, is that, I was hoping to get some medicine because I don't have any. All right. Well, we'll fight a guy just for fun and we'll Let's see what happens. It. I did not see him, but I was looking at chat too. Oh, oh two people are fighting. Going down. Even better. Side bust them, Aaron. This is the best time is when you flank. Oh, yep. there he is. There's one. He's aiming at someone else, right? Yeah. God, get that flank, Aaron. Get that flank. He went. It, it, so it doesn't show if he killed that guy, huh? He ran around the corner. I didn't get him. No, no, no. I'm saying if he killed the other guy, because he was clearly fighting someone else. Oh yeah, I think he got him. He's looting his body, Aaron. We gotta, we gotta get that loot. Question is, show him those have? sick dolphin dive. Oh, right there. Get Call of Duty. Just kidding. Oh, air, I hear airplane. That's good. We're also going to attract other players. He's there. Where are you? He's probably bandaging up. Where'd you go? Where is he? Right Oop. there. Got him. Yeah, go down. Got him. Hopefully that was the same guy. It was. It was. I'm okay. pretty sure. Uh, based off what he was wearing. So the airdrop definitely happened. We're going to loot this guy, hopefully. Uh, hopefully it's safe. It's uh, on the other side of the truck. Single fire, I've noticed, is pretty important in this game, right too. If you go full out of Ooh, look at all these goodies. Thank you. They're Give nice. us your shiv, your bullets. Oh, he's at he has a bandage, Aaron. Yep. Loot, 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 loot. Loot. Oh, you got loot. a lot of inventory loot. space. Alright. Yep. I noticed the flip side of that is when you get back to your base, you tend to not have a lot of places to stuff it. Okay, so is there bleeding or anything or just normal health system? I so mean, far, it seems pretty normal. The okay. only thing that uh, where you lose health a bit is during the um, radiation areas. Like, you'll start to tick decay. So, right? yeah, in the, in the bottom right there, you can see I did have health loss. It would just, it like came yeah, up temporarily. Oh, you got shot, though. So. Yeah, yeah. From, yeah, 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 from yeah, getting yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
So, go back to my first gun. I mean, uh, did like, you see the airdrop, or does it show on the map? It does. Honestly, okay, the, cool. the the smart thing for me to do right now would be to just get out. Oh, it's way over here. This is. I think the airdrop's actually in the radiation region. How do you know? I, that's what the giant red is probably telling me. So if another player grabs it, though, you can actually see, it, it, like it, it, it's like the hunt showdown. It actually like flickers on the map. You know, he killed that other guy over here too. He probably looted his body though. I would assume, because he had a lot of stuff. Probably wouldn't bring that much stuff with you, right? Good recommendation in the chat to uh, reload both of my weapons so that I can just switch between the two of them. Yeah, I got two of the same gun. Is the Mosin good, Noah? If it is, I'll tell Aaron to go back and grab that. He said the other gun might good. have been better than I the PM, but I don't know. I'm god awful with um, both, the single both fire. action, single yeah. fire weapons. No worries. It's important. We We're doing our Fortnite strats, double SMG. <laughs> it's important to know where you stand in life, and where I stand in life is I am terrible What's up, at Pelipper? Bolt action weapons. All right, so we're going to go to radiation area just to show you what that looks like. Maybe the drop's over there, too. Um, if we weren't knee-deep in action, I probably would have told Aaron to kind of look up to see where the drop was. But So oddly enough, actually, uh, you hear the airplane sound, but I did not see a model. Or you never see, like, something drop out of the sky? I didn't see a model for the actual airplane. Uh, um, Frag and Hamish, so far, I believe it's just Xbox One. So, But if you have the Insiders program, which is not hard to get... Um, you can play it for free, the beta. So I would check that out if you're interested or keep watching, make a, make a decision for yourself. It's a sniper. God, John Smith. Uh, yeah, he said that he, uh, Aaron's, I don't appear would to prefer have to uh, not use the sniper. Oh, I guess that makes sense that he took, more he should have took the sniper instead of the pistol. I get it. To uh, extract. Or just, to, yeah. I mean, because the, the sniper is probably a better better get than the pistol but whatever it doesn't really matter We're, we came up either way um i'm just being honest is there a zombie mode i don't believe so okay so now we're getting into the radiation zone although i don't have any so how do you counteract it you need to have the meds right? i think you have to have the meds and that maybe that's why again like we only got this yesterday so maybe that's what where base building gets oh might so help boring. so you have the meds to kind of fight your way through it yeah so you can craft the meds I mean, if I get too irradiated, I guess I can just escape. Just remember that you decay while after the fact, too, right? Like, I remember watching you go into the zone, and then, like, eventually you kind of got sicker. <laughs> and you just died, I think. Yeah, I mean, you can get out of the zone. So I'm in the zone right now. Doesn't look like anybody's picked up the airdrop or found the airdrop. But is the air is that marker your marker or the airdrop marker? That's me. Oh, so okay. the red's me, and that's where I, I put my own marker, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I can just get rid of it. Yeah, I'm just wondering if for sure the the airdrops in this zone don't know if it's coming to a pc jasper it doesn't say so on the site right now they're the official site uh beta only right now uh, are there better sites than the iron sites was a question haven't um, seen them yet but uh somebody recommended that we picked up a sniper rifle a little bit earlier which we didn't do oh there it is oh nice it okay. looked like everything else in the world so i need to chart a way out because yeah, the minute i grab it. this other players will come after me all right uh, did, does this mean somebody else picked it up? I thought you said that's how it works. Did someone get out already? Or would it tell you that they got out? What up? Uh, chat. We'll throw this to you because actually this is the first time I've gone to one of these airdrops. I think the airdrop's gone, says Luke. Okay. It's like gone. gone out of the game? Like someone got it and peaced out? Because that wouldn't be shocking. So should we be looking for a new game then at this point? So that's the peace out point. We'll just go peace out then. Yeah. That's fine. We got a kill. We got we got another gun. We can store that gun. We got a lot of ammo nition. Somebody might have grabbed it. Likely. Dude, it was close to get out. Yeah. Like that. I would have just grabbed it and ran. I wouldn't even engage in a fight. Like, see ya. We'll try that the next round. Yeah. We got to look up. Uh, do, you, do you know if it always drops in the red zone? So far, I believe it does. Okay. Doesn't seem like the radiation is doing anything. Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. It does. There's a certain point where it starts making your vision go blurry. Yeah, I saw that yesterday. Yeah, we fled. Cool. So fleeing is, I feel like, a very good strategy in this game. It's one of those things where maybe you want to come in a couple rounds and build up your reserve of weapons and ammo and then 
meds and then maybe go for the airdrop when you're ready. I mean, to be fair, there's going to be a good amount of loading. How time large does the circle get? Is it was it at max capacity there? It, it's in, in fixed. Terms of, yeah. Oh, okay. So that was the biggest it was going to get. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the marker shows up red when it drops, turns yellow when it has been picked up. Hmm. All right. So we're just oh, gonna so like if we put a marker in the red circle, then it becomes yellow if it's been picked up. So we're gonna drop off one of our rifles. Uh, Antonio, Adrian, I believe if as long as you get the Xbox Insiders. Um, program you can pretty much play this game for free and i think the xbox insider preview program thing is also free i had mentioned how to do it earlier uh you can just google it if you want uh so yeah i guess i gotta get rid of the shotgun uh, luke shells. says i'm not always sure if it drops in the red okay Let's well we'll just try to l listen and see uh the plane it's phil's 310 is this a survival game um yeah pretty much i mean you're going into a match you're trying to loot as much stuff out of you know, and resources that you can because you're trying to bring it back to your base, which is where we're at, where you can craft um, different things. Uh, we haven't crafted too much stuff outside of like our gun. Maybe at some point you can craft like medicine and bandages and things like that, but so not we sure. Have, I have a painkiller. Uh, the crafting table. So crafting table tools level zero. So I need wire and metal parts. So I think you have to build all this. That's that's the deal. Okay. So Ka uh, Kalinx asks, um, what is this game most like? Some people are saying it's like Tarkov and maybe like a little bit. Do you escape with mats in Tarkov? Um, or is that more of a hunt showdown thing? Hunt showdown. It's more of a hunt showdown So it's kind of like yeah. a hybrid of a bunch of stuff. It's more survival than Battle Royale, though. So anyone that's asked, saying like Battle Royale, blah, 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 it's not. Tarkov has some mysteries as you go across the map. And there's an extraction point at the end of the map, typically. Um, your chances of surviving a round of Tarkov, I think, are almost none. <laughs> Unless you're rolling with a really good crew, so you're just going to kind of gear bleed the whole time. Smoke says, uh, you can have a friend invite you to the Xbox Insiders if they're already a member. That's cool. Thanks for that. I don't have that many bullets in this AK, but I don't know. Why don't we try it? Just for the hell of it. So this is cool. They have a shooting range here. You can test out the accuracy of your weapons. Practice dolphin diving. Sean Fairchild says this game looks really good. Is this coming going to be on PS4? Not as of now. I think the PS4 crowd is really looking for something that isn't Fortnite. I know that uh, they were pretty enthused about H1Z1. Yeah. They're king of the kill mode. Well, Let's it's now just H1Z1. Less racing. Uh, I don't understand your question, so you're gonna have to reformulate that one for me to try to hopefully answer or read. Yeah, the gun's definitely pulling left when I go down sights. Well, that time it didn't look like it. Oh, I see. like if I was going for a headshot, it would miss. So you got to ADS and then pull right just a teeny bit. Just yeah, we, as Legion DC mentions, you don't have to engage against anyone. You just literally take scraps from like locations and then bring it back yeah oh how long does a game last uh i mean i think it lasts as long as you want it to be until you die or get out right i would assume if you go for i think there's like 10 or 15 minutes if you actually go for the airdrop assuming you don't die but uh, could you could you have stayed on that map just now and like tried to scavenge other parts of the map or would yeah. it have kicked you out at some point if i had thought that all the other players were gone i probably could have stayed for a while we okay. can test it. I mean, we I mean, can. I'm, I'm just yeah. asking questions, so it's kind of like not a big deal. I, I'd rather just see what it's like to get an airdrop. <laughs> More of a Rust style, yeah. Although it's instance, I think Rust is on a like a fairly large map, from what I recall. Same with PUBG. Like PUBG's maps are huge. This is maybe one corner of a PUBG map. It's like the power plant area or something like Joey that. Joey Ben Ben Boy says, uh, "What's so special about this game?" I think it's just. Um, from my perspective, it's like giving players on the Xbox um, another type of game that's not necessarily just a battle royale. That has, you know, I wouldn't say similarities to it, but you know, it has it has elements of different things, and maybe your survival shooter is more of your thing. Um, also, it has like you know more of a realistic look and things like that. So that's my venture to guess of you know. 
Given this is early access, uh, I would recommend go try Hunt the Showdown to see if that's your kind of game or Escape from Tarkov. Just play a couple rounds and see if it's your kind of game. Some people really, really like the uh, like how punishing these games are and how you really do have to you know, worry about every gunfight as opposed to a Call of Duty style game where you know you just respawn before you hit the floor half the time. Mm. Uh, Antonio, this is not a battle rail. So for, yeah. It's pretty much a survival game. You're trying to, uh, you know, loot materials and things from, like, buildings like this to try to bring back to your actual base. Um, I mean, you might run into other players, of which this map has eight. Oh, to your left, that cabinet was uh, explorable. Usually, right here, this one, yeah. usually I, I run into people. In there. Bullets. Um, and if you do happen to run into people and... and you know, kill them, you can essentially take their loot, which is, you know, what happened last game. We were able to take that guy's ammo and guns, um, which is pretty valuable in the sense that if, you know, you'd have to craft those things, um, which is materials, obviously. So I, ha I haven't fully sorted out crafting yet. It seems like you need to build the biggest hurdle right now from for my character's electronics. So I need to go find electronics then build a crafting table from what I understand. As Wayne mentioned, uh, yeah, according to their website right now, it, it seems like it's just an Xbox exclusive because that's the only platform they list. Uh, Hawk says, how can I play this? You need to be an Xbox insider, and if you are, then you can, um, you know, once load up that app and then look for this game, you should be able to play it that way. I haven't tried shooting out. It's not a Battle Royale, it's Schwarzenegger. Um, it's a survival shooter. Survival scavenging. Slash building i guess building crafting uh zero king as mentioned uh from what aaron knows the the size of that circle is about roughly as big as it's gonna get that's where i got stuck. how many people on the map time. ask uncharted this one has eight but um you can potentially have eight to 16 people maps is what uh the official site says itself Ooh, time to hop in the car Got the, the scavenge and the reload button are on the same. Oh, really? Same press. E. That's not so great. I'm wondering if I'm not going to run into somebody here. That's kind of how it goes, Mad Hatter. People are preconditioned <laughs> to okay. reload okay. constantly. No, to uh, think that when you're looting in a game at, like this, like that's a shooting game, that's a, a battle royale. I mean, that's where we're at in the industry right now. Um, I spent a lot of time with Fortnite over the past couple of weeks and. I get it now. Like, I actually was really enjoying it. To, to be fair, though, I was playing Team Battle and not actual Battle Royale. Yeah. But BRs are, you know, the, the 2018 thing slash 2017 thing that, you know, people are going to ride that wave for a bit. And then just like MOBAs, it'll probably kind of come down to oop, medicine right there in front of you. Yep, there's, there's a guy. a person. So it's up to you if you want to grab that medicine. You can probably sneak up on this guy. He's probably going to come over to you, right? Oh, maybe not. You want that medicine? Do I? I don't Probably know. Do. Just don't want to get shot getting it. And I've lost. Oh, He's over he there. He sees you, maybe. I think he just saw me. I think stand he saw up. you. Yeah. It's all right. Ooh. Let me see if I can get um an angle coming across the bridge. I haven't tried firing through windows yet. Is he gonna? I feel like he hid behind that ridge to try to head head camp you, but I don't know. Question is, will he come to me, or do I have to go to him? I want to make him come to me. That would be more preferable. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, I my feelings are that you know you you have PUBG and, and Fortnite, and those are going to be your two heavy hitters. At best, there's maybe room for one more um, battle royale game, and that's probably it. So it's like, do the game devs take the risk to you know make a battle royale game and hope that you know it works out? I'm curious about the Call of Duty one. Um, I want to see what that looks like or how that works out. Uh, yeah, that one sounds super interesting because it's uh, kind of a play on nostalgia too. You're, you know, uh -huh. you're going to be like jumping out of an airplane and telling your squad, "Let's go to Nuketown," or uh, you know, some other. Yeah, you get to play some of your all the different characters from the COD series. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe that's a thing or it becomes a thing. There's so many people that play COD. Uh, now, I don't know if the that r multiplayer um, will, will kind of stick or if the, the community will be playing that a bunch versus what they no traditionally play. But now And I then know this man whatever 
battlefield decides to do i know it's not like a traditional just straight up battle royale but you know they're gonna they're gonna do something um right they just said royale i think they never showed anything though you're gonna shout cordis dia and jump out of an airplane yep was that him there man do i even want to fight him i don't know i'm just waiting to see if the airdrop will come <laughs> where did this man go Luke uh, oh, there he is. thinks that Call of Duty will bookend the BR era. Maybe. Uh, oh, we'll see. This way. Where'd he go? Was he really that close? Yeah. He was just I like. I hear the footsteps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Welcome to the aim in this game. His foot? I think you should have used the other gun. The, the one you killed that other guy with. The, the, like the, oh, yep. airdrop's coming in. And again, we're engaged at the same location as last game. He's got the head, he's got the head glitch on you. So I would either try to flank him. What's the head glitch? Like he's, he's hiding behind the car because he's not giving you much to shoot. Whereas you're giving him a lot to shoot. You know what I mean? He also doesn't know where you are right now. So if you wrapped on him, if you wrap around on him right now, make the bold play. Where he at? Yeah, he's right. He's behind that car. Oh, he didn't see you. Damn it. Uh, this is so awkward. Where'd he go? He's behind the car. Come on. Come just, on just, just do it. Oh, he's got the same gun. Yeah. See, you just got to get in there. Let's go yeah. down. Oh. <laughs> All right. So airdrops had around somewhere too, Aaron. So no, you don't want that. Yeah. Do you? You want his AK. You definitely want his A74. Yep, I pressed too quickly. Uh, For the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Actually. Now I have two AKs. Oh wait, no, I actually. That's an A74. It. How do I swap it for the pistol? Huh? I don't know. Uh, you go to the pistol probably and then swap it. And now I got two AKs. I'll take it. Oh whatever. Uh, it doesn't I don't matter. Have ammo, it's though. fine. Uh, look for the drop. The drop's still there. It's a red box on okay. your thing now. Hang on. Replace one of my AKs. Oh, that one is 40. That one is 20. Okay, we're doing this. So it's okay. yeah, it's north of you or I west. See. All right, forty rounds. That AK. Crime says we on different servers. Good. No stream sniping here. <laughs> that AK is uh. Uh, no vehicles that we know of. Just FYI. Oh, you're also really hurt. You don't have bandages, right? I think I do. Hang on. This is actually not a place to do that though. Here. <laughs> As he says that, just YOLO, YOLO heal. And also, I'm irradiated, so. Uh, let's figure out our exit strategy. So red means... I am not going to type when oh, we're... It's yellow. That means somebody got it, right? That's Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now somebody has it. Yeah, now somebody has it. So where do you think they're exiting? That's what you got to figure out. The top is the nearest. Oh, is he going to get out before you can get there? Very likely. Damn it. That top area is easy to get to keep fighting people instead of getting these sick airdrops i think he's out oh is he like right next to you oh, i'm so confused no no you should just go for the exit right the exit you think he's gonna go to well he just went the other way so i thought he was gonna go there but then he started hitting okay well then follow Wait, him was that a blink here I thought it was going to go this way, but I got a confusing blink in the opposite direction. Could it be your bait? Oh, nope. He's he's going the other way. Oh, he's going the long way, huh? Yeah. Damn. It's very Hunt Showdown that way where people have to mind game try and the figure other out. Yeah. Um, no cars that we know of right now. Damn it. He's getting away with our sweet loot. Oh, I do have bandages. Your Although, bandages. can I run and heal? I doubt it. Oh, that was cheeky. Oh no, you just had painkillers, which is just like what? Well, good, I'm not in pain anymore. Suppress. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. good. This is good. You, f you guys have a little squabble. We'll come from behind. Where's it going down? Probably near the exit. Forgot where the exit was already. It's over. You don't want to get in the water. He's probably at that boat. Oh, I heard somebody go in the water. 
Is there a guy in the water? I don't no, know. That's, that's just, just the water noise. That's just the water. Crap. Is he out? Don't know. Okay, so now I'm getting, now irradiated, you're getting irradiated. Which probably yeah. means I'm close to the guy that has it. Really? Or I just need to no, get you're just losing life, and you should probably get the hell out. All right, where are we going? This is where I just had my gunfight. If I just stayed there, it would have been good. Okay. How do I... All right, get me out of here. Am I even aiming in the right... No, I got to go back the other way. Yeah, I think it was over here, wasn't it? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> nope. I think Aaron's going to die, but we'll see. What's it's this not. about? Uh, Noah, Noah, it's a survival shooter. You're trying to, uh, I guess technically the big thing you're trying to do is get the airdrop so that you can get materials from that airdrop so that you can take them out, extract them to your base to then, you know, kind of craft some stuff. Um, you can also find uh, items and materials and things like that in, in these houses. Right now we're irradiated because we've been in the thing. Oh, hi. Oh! Nope. Give him. Is he escaping? I think. Nope. He's trying to escape, I think. Oh, I think he got out. That's the exit. Oh, he's he's back there. He's back there. Where? He's in the box. Turn around. He's right there. Or I thought he was right there. Oh, Did I thought he escaped? He was, yeah, I think he's out. He was, he, I, th I saw some guy like kind of peek his head behind this box. I think he just escaped. Well played, All random right. other guy. He just ran around. Pop some rad X. We didn't have any. Well, we still got we got some loot out of that. That's good. All right, so this time this round we'll just focus on the airdrop. Okay. Uh, Famished Yoshi, is there anything you can compare this to? Tar Escape from Tarkov, um, Hunt Showdown. Somewhere in bit. between those two. Don't shoot. Say. No, I want to. We wish we should have killed that guy so we could have took his loot because we were out anyways. Um. So it's airdrop games. Now I see. Well, I mean, it's not just airdrops because you could still escape um, from just crafting stuff. I mean, uh, for crafting materials from the houses, but I, I would assume the airdrops have the good stuff. Um, so have you been able to upgrade anything yet? Or is that just not a thing? You can upgrade things. Because um, weren't you saying you're missing stuff? Uh, but I don't have the, the Ray, it's not multiplayer. Stuff no co-op, guys. Just single player from what we can tell. 8 to 16 players per map. All right, I've got way... It is not a Battle Royale game. Way too much ammo. PKM. I don't necessarily want to carry all this ammo with me. Yeah, you me. might as well get rid of a bunch of it. It doesn't even seem like you use more than 30 rounds a match. That's true. And I you're mean, risking unless you're it. spraying and praying. Um, Here's 762. 9x19, we'll take it. Emacs, not another Battle Royale. Let's see if I have any more 762. Nope. The Cooperman, if you feel that way, you don't have to be here. You know, it's simple as that. Consumables. Okay, so I'll show you thanks everyone else for hanging out. I'll uh, show you real quick. So you guys know, uh, this is GameSpot Live. We're live every day at about 11.30. Today we're a little bit later than our normal schedule, but um, you can come hang out with us. We'll play different games, betas, previews, um, games that have weekly challenges, things like that. Aaron's now at the crafting station. Oh, you had an improve thing. The improve, I think you actually had it. Yeah. 4,000 materials. You can have a wood log, which... I don't know what that does exactly. Uh, so we need nails and wire. I haven't really found wire. No, no, no. That's the next upgrade. Did you already do that upgrade? N you can't do that upgrade. Oh, okay. So you need nails and wire. You need nails and wire. So, like, I have some of this stuff. I'm assuming once you get these online, you can actually craft some business. Here's my character. There's customization. Gestures is not in the game yet. Store, yeah. So, loadout. There is a section in here for breaking down and customizing weapons. Um, but again, I don't know. This is a problem I have with Escape from Tarkov. Is why would I spend so much time customizing a weapon and then if you just die, that's it. It's gone, right? Well, if that weapon's really good, then you should be winning rounds technically, right? And and like you like we are not even sure how good these airdrops are, right? So. Let's focus on an airdrop this time yeah. around. How do I get this game? Uh, gauge. Uh, basically, you need to be an Xbox Insider. If you're not, you just need to 
uh, get onto your Xbox console, search for Xbox Insider app, install that, and you should be able to look for uh, the game that way, I believe. Um, so, yeah. Is there a release date? Uh, not that I know of. Uh, let's see if... All right, back I'm in. Shooting is really loud for some reason. <laughs> I feel like that's just to scare the crap out of you in games like this because it's very quiet and then suddenly I shotgunned a guy in the back the other day who was just laying on the ground, I'm sure. I think it's just... Uh, so, Vigor will release 2018 for those purchasing the Founders Pack and then 2019 as a free-to-play. So, there's that. Uh, for the individual who was telling me to aim down sights earlier, I've noticed that the, the sights are off a little bit to the left, so I'm usually hesitant in a close situation to do it. Although these guns are really inaccurate when you go full auto, so point taken. It's worth a shot. Also, backseat gaming is the way to go, Aaron. That's how it goes. I appreciate it when you backseat game, Tay, because you usually know things. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to say sometimes the uh, the chat's got it too, but you know. Your advice on the flank was good. Yeah. It's good flanking well, advice. Well, because like I feel like with, given the aiming I've seen, I'm like, why would we even try to to have a mid to long range fight? Let's just bring it up and close with the with our you know full auto SMG, and you know just hope that we hose them down before they hose us down, right? Somehow yesterday um, that ended with both Rob Hanley and myself getting stabbed to death at point blank range. Just because of know, how man, that guy, that guy, that guy pulled it off. Yeah. Um, on you earlier, but he got probably half of your health gone from you looting a box. So. Totally. Crime says there's a he's in the game. He has no. Uh, no, no ammo or, or no gun or anything, so don't shoot him. He's going to be our bait, I guess. Sure. Part of me doesn't believe him, but part of me does. That, so we'll that see. Sounds like well, we're, we're, we're focused on the airdrop anyways. Uh, right. Ray Tolliver, as mentioned, get the Xbox Insider app uh, on Xbox. After you do that, then search for the for Vigor, and you should be able to hopefully get in. Uh, that's all I can really say. We um, haven't... We might have an article on GameSpot eventually by the end of the day, which kind of Hopefully, we'll help point you in the right direction. I might be able to link. Let me see if I can link you guys how to get in. I think there's this um, right here. So let me send this out there, and then you guys can use this as like a means to to get in, I guess, or hopefully get in. So let me figure out where the airdrop is. And what? It's in the ocean. That's yeah, just the rated A. Well, it, is it gonna blow in? I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, maybe it doesn't matter right now. Maybe the circle gets dropped with the plane. You know what I mean? So the yeah. plane's gonna come from there, and then come across and drop it somewhere. So why don't you just look for other random stuff until you hear the plane? I guess. So the big thing that I need is wire, and I'm not sure if I get that yet by breaking down materials or finding it. I think you found nails earlier in just like a toolbox. Um, are there bots like Tarkov? I, I don't know. No, not yet. I, I don't know if they'll be in the game, but not currently. I definitely was also not shooting through that car at that dude. As you shouldn't. You don't have armor piercing rounds. You don't have hollow, hollow points. I wonder about the windows. So nothing in this store. Oh. There's a thing. Got some bullets. You're full up, I guess. You got plenty of bullets. Not in the same game. Sad face. Uh, right now, Kusai, I think it's just Xbox One. I don't believe PC because I didn't see it. Um, Dave the Rave, it's it's just in um, beta right now. Not like officially out yet. Maybe these are fish drying racks. No fish. How balanced are the controls? Uh, might have to elaborate on what you mean by that. Yeah, I guess that's fair. So far, serviceable. Um, although I will say the uh, reload and the pickup button are the same button. So you will oftentimes reload when you're trying to pick up. Oop, I hear gunshots. It's always here, man. It's always around here. Oh, they are going ham. I heard someone just unloading their gun. Which How do you craft Molotovs? That I don't know. I'm sure at some point, once you get your crafting bench up or something, maybe you can make those. I don't even um, know if I saw them. It's not even... I guess it's looted. <laughs> if they're unloading, they're probably missing. 
that's kind of it's it's got that arma vibe. Too. Shamir, uh, this is not a battle royale game. That's the extraction point. Are there any explosives? Um, I saw a grenade in the menu, but I haven't used it. Where are the players? Uh, there's only seven other players in here, of which maybe one of them just died because we heard. Oh, there you see you see that? What the hell is that? Oh, it's nothing. It's just this flower that's flickering that huh. was throwing me off. I was like, oh, you see that yellow marker? What is that? Um, so we're waiting for the airdrop. Heard a lot of gunshots going down over here. I'm assuming people. Oh. Yep. This direction. Wow. It's like firecrackers, noisemakers. What's up, Lu Lubo? How you doing? Where's it going down? Feel like somebody's got to be wounded down there. They're right. still fighting. Aaron can't help himself. He's gonna go find out, explore, investigate. Do we wanna wanna wait for the airdrop, or do we wanna? Uh, Armando, not that we know of. Um, I think the majority of players are down there fighting. Currently, I, don't see I mean, I leave it up to you. You do what what y your hearts desire, um, and I'll tell you when there's an airdrop. Question is actually, where did that gunfight just go down? I didn't see anyone, so... I just heard a lot of shooting, and I didn't see anybody. I think it was over here, though. I mean, I could hide in a bush for 10 minutes. It's not very captivating. I want to know where the wire's at. Rel Soul you know. says, I wouldn't be surprised if Battle Royale oh, mode there releases he is. later on. I, I see don't him. know, maybe, but I don't. I kind of feel like Can I get no, him? too, Sniped? because of like the, the style of game this is. Okay, hang on. I don't know. Are you really going to go for that shot? And give away your position. Yep, you did it. Well, if you hit the shot, we might as well just call it a stream. Oh, hit markers. That was two hit markers. Pretty good there, Aaron. Impressive. Feather. Uh, how much would the game cost? I believe to play in 2018, as it mentioned, it's like you have to buy the, oh, airdrop, founders pack, which I don't know if I saw the price for that. But it'll be free in 2019. Uh, let me see. Founders pack. Which right. is what we have right now, just so you guys know. Uh, they gave us a founders pack to play with. So. I have no idea nope. how wounded or if that guy is dead. He's not dead. He ran. I saw him. Oh, wait. Where's the, uh, where's the airdrop? Uh, I'm waiting for it to come up on the map. Get rid of my marker. So we're just going to wait here for a second for the airdrop. There it is. Oh, it's close. All right. We are in it. So it is kind of where the red circle is, huh? Oh, that guy's going to have to come to me. Is it in the red? Just out of curiosity. Oh, yes. it totally is. Okay. But at least it's smart enough to be, like, not in the water. <laughs> I don't know if I want to run out in the open and get that, because that guy's wounded, but he's... Uh, yeah. He's here somewhere. So Sparky's giving us some info here. It's like, you have a safe zone, your shelter, which can uh, be upgraded and stuff. You go into areas, up to eight people. It said eight to 16, but in this case, it's eight, I think. Um, material scavenge, get back to your shelter with it. Uh, if you die, you lose everything, but if you get to your shelter, it's all good. Is it PvP only? I mean, like, you can uh, technically avoid people. And just get loot and get stuff. Aaron's trying to bait the package, I think, here to get that guy to come over and grab it. That's while it. somebody probably is going to just wrap around and grab it. Yep. Oh, there's one there. See? They're going for the package. This is good. So players can kill each other. Yes, you can. Um, you can loot them as well, which is good. He I'm pretty sure he doesn't, Hamza. Um, the question is if that guy just saw me or not. Oh, you're irradiated. Does that so mean that's the exit that you want, by the way. That that dock, yeah. um, which is where they escaped. Oh, he's last down time. there. Oh, he's going for the package, Aaron. Mistakes were made. Okay, you should just camp the uh, the exit. Where's the exit? It's right there. Right that's there? the exit. Yeah. He's going for the package. We're gonna kill him as he grabs the. Just make sure you don't get uh, screwed at the. Uh oh, there's another guy, down the road. He's right there. You see him? Yeah. Does he see me? Is the question. Everyone's oh no, this is not good. I don't think we're gonna get the uh the package at this point. The package is still red though. Oh, crap, I can't 
You can't prone there. There's no space. Okay, he's 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 near the car. He's he's wrapping around, I think. Uh, he went up the hill. Last I saw. Question is, is he gonna camp it? No, but the exit's farther to your left. I yeah. don't even know where that guy went. He might be taking the the safe, scenic route near the water. I'm gonna get sandwiched if this guy's. Nah, they're going there. for the package, man. Is he moving? I don't know. I didn't see the guy, but I'm I'm guessing he went like water side, you know. All right, let's chase him. All right, we're going for the big wrap around. This probably will not go well, but I'm gonna hope. Well, nobody's taking the package yet, which is kind of crazy because it's still red. Or the package is in a wonky ass spot where you can't even get it. Oh, oh it's going down. That was a sniper, I think. Never heard that gun yet. Thanks, Sparky, for the info. Uh, what did I miss, Fruity Loopy? Hello, Kai Kaiden? Kaiden? I missed it, Fruity. Just send it again. I'm trying to watch the game at the same time. Uh, will it be a free game at launch? Jennifer, I don't think so. It sounds like you, you need to buy the Finders Pack for 2018 if you want to play it in 2018, but I think in 2019, it'll become uh, free. The package is still available. This is not a Battle Royale. Geo. All right, so we're closing in on the package, but we feel like the package is being baited because we definitely heard a sniper shot. There's also another guy who just went this way, so. Yeah, he snuck around. Right now, if you want to play it, it's part of the Xbox Insiders uh, program. So you'd have to. I feel like going under the dock out. is a bad idea. There's definitely people camping the package. Currently. You think so? Gotta be. Yeah, you're smarter than me. I would. I just don't close doors. <laughs> I don't like um, people knowing where I've been. All right, this is probably one of those like as like more intense matches where it doesn't seem like anyone wants to grab the package because everyone seems to be camping it. Um, and probably getting out. As, as you saw last game, it takes about eight seconds, I think, to get out. So you're not yeah. technically safe just because you get to the to the end point there. <laughs> so it's definitely, it's getting camped from two sides. Is this like DayZ? I think there's like certain elements of it because it's the same devs, DayZ, Arma devs, so Bohemia Interactive. <laughs> I think that, so maybe the, the radiation is just a timer. To kind of get things moving along. Yeah. So that like you either have to make that decision to go for it or just leave the game. Or get it makes out. sense. All right, we're going back around the back. Oh, Aaron, playing safe. Uh, this is Xbox only Imperium, as as of now at least. Can you even do that? Oh, you can. Oh, you're just really slow. It's really slow. Do you think there's an exit though on the other side? Like something you can walk past? We're gonna find out. Oh, there's like a dock. Oh, that's the extraction point. Here. Normally, you can <sighs> climb these ladders. JK, uh, the radiation is not a timer. You have to get out within a few minutes. Okay. So, so I'm assuming if that ladder didn't work, this one's not going to work, right? <laughs> yeah, we should probably start <laughs> heading back in the other direction. Hang on. Let me climb. The ladders did work in other places in the game. Okay, well, they're going to have to grab it and head back there soon, so... Let me up. Our ladder game is not very strong. Uh, Cause I, I mean, like part of the PVE is g just getting like materials and then getting out. But I, I mean, I guess you could view that as it could be empty, feel a little empty. Uh, I need a headset. Should I get an Astro A10? I don't know enough about Astros to tell you what kind of headset to get. So sorry about that. Should we go for the clearly highly camped? box i don't it's up to you if you want to just give it a shot try to grab the box and get the hell out don't even engage with anyone go for it i mean it's kind of boring just to extract of course well i mean we don't know what materials are in that package right that was the whole point of trying to get the package to begin with it was just trying to see what kind of goodies you can get from the from the package so i say we make a break for the package try to get the package at least see what's in the package and even if we die at least people know what's in the package is the map huge? I wouldn't say it's that big. Um, we were able to kind of like go from one side to the other in like a short amount of time. Aaron's still playing safe. 
I'm actually just trying to find my way there at this point. It's oh, really? Okay. I, I thought you were like trying to find a, a safe d route to get there. Unless it's stuck on the building, which would be hilarious. It could be on the roof, and that's why nobody has it. Okay, now we need to extract, because... All right, well, it, you're sick. There's a halfway decent chance it was on the roof, but we got to get out. Maybe that's why nobody's got it yet. Yeah. Just don't want to get shot in the back by all the people I just tried to flank. Eh. So we got nothing in that run. We didn't kill anyone. We didn't find anything. This is pretty much the worst kind of run that you could have. But the exit's like right there, so we're fine. Kill someone, please. We killed some people the last two games. Uh, Aaron got two hit markers earlier on some guys, but, you know, what are you going to do? If I can find people, I'd be happy to kill them. That was weird. I wonder if it, the airdrop was on the roof. I don't know. Okay, well, we'll try again. That was a weird one because all the other times the airdrop has been in a field. Well, you can tell right away off of red, the red circle, assuming it drops in the red circle every time. Yeah. We'll give it one more go, see if we can find it out in the field. And Master Nick, you can play it on Xbox if you have the Insider program. So, Yeah, it's not Battle Royale. It's more like Escape from Tarkov or uh, Hunt, Hunt Showdown. Showdown. Yeah. Except Hunt Showdown has got some PvE, though, right? Because you're killing stuff. There's no like stuff that you're killing yeah, in this one. That is also true. Loading. Okay. Uh, why don't we just queue back up again? Yeah, let's just queue up. What's the objective of the game? Um, essentially, you're trying to, you know, extract as much uh, material as you can from each time that you get into a game. Um, ideally, probably the airdrops probably have the best stuff. Then you bring that back to your base if you can live. And then you upgrade your base, um, different things at your base for, like, crafting and things like that. We did see... Maybe make better guns or, or yeah. like, grenades, grenades potentially or something. This is the shooting range if you want to just practice. You can see as soon as you start shooting, your accuracy just kind of goes to crap. Can you hack this game? Probably harder since it's on console, but you know, hopefully not. So right now we're searching for three of eight players. Ding. Oh, we I had five. It's pretty accurate once you get the uh, actual crosshair on it. With certain weapons. Uh, this gun, not so much. Well, you don't actually have a bunch of us. Oh, uh, look no, at that never. first shot. <laughs> Sell myself short. Eh. Maybe when you get out to like, when you get to this range. It... The name of this game is Vigor, uh, Elzor. I got it with this gun, yeah. So the guns have different. Got it. I mean, you, you once you kind of got your, your um, aim down on that last guy near the tree, you, you hit him twice and then he finally moved. So, here we go. All right. Hopefully, the uh, airdrop will be somewhere obvious this time. I like how sneaky you can be. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, to some degree. For the comment about killing people, it's a risk. I mean, because you lose all of your gear every time you die. It depends how much gear you have collected, but uh, you wouldn't want to just run in every round and, and fight other people in this game because you could end up at a point where you only have a knife. Yeah. If you lose all your gear every round. So it's not exactly PvP. There isn't a winner. I mean, not necessarily. There's just PvP elements to it. I mean, ultimately, you know, if you do kill somebody, you can take their loot and things like that. But your main objective is to try to get as much material out of there. But maybe killing someone would have got you material because they might have farmed some stuff. So, um, it, um, Like Hunt Showdown, if you want, a decent strategy is to just basically go camp and exit. Loading. Is there a bullet drop? Um, I mean, we shot pretty far there, and it didn't look like there was too much bullet drop, but I don't know. We haven't sniped at all. I noticed at really far ranges I had to aim high with okay. the SMG. How many guns are there? Do you know? Mm, don't know off the top of my head, but okay. I, I've seen a couple pistols, a couple rifles, and SMG. Yeah. As Grumpy or Face Man says, you don't need a PvP. You can stealth and then extract. Yeah. Now it's back in that area again. <laughs> It seems it feels like all, I don't know. It feel, this feels like early PUBG, where all the battles were in one place. All right, I don't really have. A, I'm not going to get enough in this stream to actually craft anything. So let's just focus on that airdrop. Either airdrop or fighting people. Yeah. So well, once you extract, you never lose it. No, you don't. Uh, but if you die, you lose whatever you have on you. So you'll lose the guns, you'll lose the ammo, things like that. 
So. Uh, right now, you can play it for free, Master Nick, if you're in the Insider program. But I think, according to some sites, uh, I think for once the game actually comes out, you might need Founders Pack. And then in 2019, it'll be free. But um, don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. That's just what I read. Um, is there fishing? Nope. Sorry, Horst. <laughs> There's not even fish on these racks. Um... Trying to see if there's any uh, just random cool areas. Yeah, so far. Uh, Karag's Karage pretty says pretty much go play Escape from Tarkov. Um, I mean, it's not a, that's not a bad suggestion. Go play some Tarkov and just uh, yeah, see if this is your type of game. It's this you it's know scavenging survival. Yeah, it's more Tarkov than it is a battle royale. So if you guys are looking for battle royale, that's not that's not what this is. So I'm on the peninsula already, where it's going to go down. Um, I guess it's what not. do we got? Ammo. Damn, we need some wire. <laughs> it's so you can break down stuff. Sci-fi. There's a. I guess this is new, map-wise. Yeah, this one just appeared this morning. I mean, honestly, the the right thing to do would be to just chill here because I'm actually sounds good. Well, it could. Okay, no, so I mean, it's. I I see where you're going with it. It's good. I think so. Could be on the island that I'm at, or it could be across the way. Someone mentioned it's a uh, division battle royale. Eh. Division mm. battle royale was called Survival, and it was quite excellent. Uh, I really enjoyed that DLC, and I. You mean the Dark Zone? Oh, that. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah the no. one where they actually had a survival mechanic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Their survival DLC was great, and I actually kind of hope they um, bring that to Division Two. Bring that to Division Two. Yeah. I want to see what they do to Dark Zone if they're changing it at all. But what would you we'll do see. to Dark Zone, Tay? Uh, I don't. I actually like Dark Zone. I think what they did towards the end, where they made you know, you going manhunt, it actually gave you, like, a reason to manhunt. Like, you know, actually PvP against people. Like, there was benefit. Like, you got, like, more reward, I think, out of it if you could escape. Or if you could get your stuff out as a as manhunt or something like that. But as long as it's not glitchy, exploitative, where you can, like, hide in buildings and kill people, I think it, it'll be fine. And as long as the PvE part of it, you can still, uh, you know, still progress in a, in a good fashion that, like, doesn't force people to to dark zone or pvp would be good as well like you don't want dark zone to be like the like the the best way to you know get gear and things like that because mm. not everyone's going to want a pvp right and the funny thing about the first week of dark zone probably will well maybe it's different now that people have played it but like usually people are friendly the first week um because everyone's just trying to get stuff out but you never know right um i'm interested to see if that game's going to be better uh, or if I'll, I'll be more into it come the next time it comes around. I didn't play enough of the the updated version, which it did a lot, I think. They did a lot to it, um, a lot of good things. So as long as they're building upon that stuff, I think Division 2 should be a pretty solid Q1 2019 game that I'll definitely be getting into. I'm sure you will. I, I know that um, you yeah, were enjoying it. played some of E3, and I really enjoyed it. Um, it kind of still scratches that itch of the not Destiny RPG shooter. Mm -hmm. I, I like it because they have like that kind of deep crafting system um, trying to find like perfect min max stats now destiny way back in the day sort of had that with some of the guns he's looking at the map oh he's got he's got so much oh he's trying to luger you just roll up on him he only has a pistol Aaron give a lot yeah just full auto roll up on him He's got no answer. He probably ran, to be honest. Where'd you go, son? The farmhouse. Should I hit him off at the other end of the farmhouse? I don't know. I just know that that guy has a pistol, and he stands no chance. Depends. He's like probably really hurt right now, too. I've been bested by a knifey McKnife person. Yeah, but I feel like times. the knife has a better chance to kill you than the, 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 than the uh, pistol here, because you guys will both be... <laughs> having to aim. I think he found a way out, unless he's hiding. Where'd you go, hilarious. Luger McLugerson? Whoop. What? I just, I thought I fell through the floor, but it was oh, his okay. camera. Uh, yeah, I think he got away, guys, sadly. Surprised the airdrop hasn't happened yet, to be honest. Feels like those first couple games, it went pretty fast. That or we just, now that we're fixated on getting it, uh, what button is to heal? Our uh, right trigger, I think. Assuming you have the, so the yeah, stuff to do you it. You have to put away your stuff. Oh, that's uh, the other interesting thing too, right? You have to actually bumper. 
and yeah, then heal with the trigger. Yeah. You have to make sure you don't have a gun equipped or you can't heal. That's me, says Azim. Come back. Oh, airdrop. Okay. We got an airdrop. Uh, Rod says to heal left bumper to choose bandage, right trigger when equipped. Yeah, it works too. All right, where is that airdrop? Where's Luger McLugerson? Because I don't, I don't know. Azim ran, I think, because he knew he only had a pistol. I don't want to get Lugered. Yeah, okay. You don't even know if it's a Luger. It could have been something else. <laughs> Where Where's your HP though? On the bottom right. Uh, it probably only shows up like when you like ADS or take damage or something like that. Where are you, Luger man? Question is, where is the package? Oh, that? I just heard it. Yeah, I, I heard a, a thunk, right? <laughs> is it on the roof? Oh, that would be so stupid. No, it's not on the roof. But Luger McLugerson could kill me while I'm. Just grab it. Go. Where is the, it? It's oh, right that's there. it. And then the the exit is like. To your left. Oh, hurry up. I hear gunfire. Just take it. Run. Book it. You know <laughs> where it is, right? It's uh, that way. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got the package, but also everyone else in the world knows, or at least in this game, knows that we have the package. We're trying to get to the dock. We're beelining it. Wait, where the hell is the exit? Where's the package? Wait, hang on. Uh, oh, we ran the other way. I totally screwed you up. I thought we were closer. Blame Tay. Yeah, blame Tay. That's fine. Um, I wanted to make it spicy. There's no HP bar yet. There is. Bottom right. You'll see it later. It Once we get shot here, watch. <laughs> <laughs> or do you think they're camping it and we should have went the long way? Should we go the long way? Yeah, let's go the long let's way. Let's go the long way. I think going the long... We might be oh, getting stream sniped by Azim, but whatever. There you go. Check the map. Oh, yeah. You guys are on delay. <laughs> uh, what's up, Payman? All right, we're we're we gave him the jukes. We made him think we we're going to that closer exit, but in reality, we're gonna go. Oh nope. lordy! Oh, there's two. Oh, kill the guy that has a gun. The other guy has no gun. Use him as bait. Why are you well, reloading when you have here. 60 bullets? Habit. Where's this guy? No. Nope. Who cares about the other guy? The other guy's got no gun. <laughs> yeah, but he's get, he might have a knife. Nope. All right, Aaron's ah. in a real sticky situation. Yes! Let's just, don't worry about his loot. Unless the other guy picks up his gun, which would kind of be bad. But whatever. We're not thinking that far ahead. I'm not running that fast. You're encumbered. Come on, give me a better run speed. All right, so, Merc the guy. There's another guy that was like, I don't know, I think hiding from the other guy because he had no gun. Or ran out of bullets. This is why you need a craft. You can't come in unprepared. You're almost better off with a knife in some cases, to be honest. That guy might have actually won with a knife. If that other guy was... Nah, the other guy had like three guns. He had he had two uh, like ARs. Uh, a Zim left. Oh, okay. Well, is this game free? It's free right now for closed beta. Come on, get there. Look at Aaron. Serpentining, trying to... Make sure that nobody sees him as he escapes here. Whereas I would have just ran straight down the road like an idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Now hide behind the truck or something. Or do you think they can be back here? Can they be back here? It's 10 seconds. Well, they can't be back here because they would have exited. So we this got is this. good. Yeah, we got it. Bam. Nailed All right. It. Let's see what it is. What the fudge, Eric? Why? What did I do? Ooh. What did I do wrong there? We got the gun. Oh, I mean, okay. So the crate. Okay. Oh, hold, no. the, hold wide a weapon away and run faster. Oh, you got a crate. Now I know what this is. So this is the crate that we got from the... So we got, we got like, an early access version mm -hmm. that gave us a crate like this. You go upstairs and you open it. All right. Let's go open a crate. All right. Oh. Is the game as laggy as it shows here? Uh, it shouldn't be that laggy. I mean, it's hard to... Sometimes when you watch something on a stream, it doesn't necessarily correlate one-to-one. -one. So what's up, Chance? Um, you know that got my heart pounding. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, because he had the box. Yeah. <laughs> But then I feel like we actually could have killed both guys, too. But Probably. whatever. The other guy had nothing because he was bait. Don't I get guess. Greedy. Sure. Gunplay needs a lot of work. It needs a little bit of work. Uh, it, it, I don't know. It, it seemed like Aaron should have hit some of those shots that he crosshaired because he wasn't even holding it down. He was feathering them. But whatever. We killed the other guy, and we got a crate. So now we're going to open a crate. Possible contents. Ooh, that's a lot of material. It said like you could get it like 1,000. My controller's Come vibrated on. aggressively. <sighs> Useless. Okay, so we got a blueprint, which is... Oh, wait, you got... Okay, so but you already have that blueprint for that gun. 
did we? Yeah, it's the the gun you always use. Uh, not my heart. And then we got like, what was it? Fuel less. and chemicals. I don't know. You don't even need chemicals right now, right? You need um, uh, electronic parts. So we need wire. <laughs> we don't have wire nails. Well, here all right, we're gonna do one more match. Let me let me uh, let me try something real quick. All so right. uh, I think you can go to any menu from here. So there's a there's a menu with like your stuff. Although I might have to be downstairs for it. And is it the resources on the right when you're back on the other menu? So go back. Is it resources? Art? There we go. Resources. Okay. So I was trying to figure this part out. It looks like you can convert it. You convert it to right? what? To nails. Deconstruct. Okay. But it looks like everything converts to nails and plants. So well, you, you need nails because you don't have enough nails. But I need wire, which is the the more important one. Ele I mean, like, why don't you break down some chemicals? See what that does. Shouldn't electronics turn in like? Electronics should turn into... It's just turning into those points that you have up there, which I guess you need to spend on... Um, Let's break this down. So chemicals. All right, so you have 4,000 out of 4,000. I don't know what that does. Also, it seems like you should have had more than 4,000, but whatever. So material's full, but we just don't have enough nails and wire. I don't know. We haven't quite figured out the economy yet. Oh, repair shelter and level up. We can do that now. All right, do that. Okay. The next upgrade is at 6,000 materials. <laughs> but we, so we, can we just sell our materials? So maybe you don't need to, right? So like, let's say we can't craft this on stream because we definitely don't know where to get it, but we can just. Well, we know that you have to find it on the thing. So that's the worth thing. 100, 500, 1,000. So what if we just, let's try it. Don't burn the wire. Yeah, not the yeah, wire. Don't burn the wire or the nails. Okay. So amount to deconstruct. How many do we have of these? Why does it say we have infinite? <laughs> we can just We have more than ten apparently, folks. Oh, are we breaking the game? Just keep going. Alright, break oh you can't. Oh, it's not letting me do it. Okay. That's hilarious actually. So like metal parts. Oh, I see. We can we can deconstruct more than we have. Okay. So let's just deconstruct 44 of these. You're only getting 220. Whatever. That's, that's a rip. Uh, this one's worth a lot. 41. That's all we needed, right? We no, need you like need 6,000 for this next upgrade. So you need 1,900 more. We got this. 26. You're going to blow everything. All right. Short. No. It doesn't go over. No. We got 6,000. No, no, no. I know, but the game isn't smart enough to give you more. Yeah. Like... Depend so if you guys break down stuff, uh, make sure you uh, do it exact or as exact as you can because um, it's you're going to get shafted. Yeah. You're going to get shafted. Early access. So you so we still didn't get any wire out of that or, or nails, but we have 6,000 and 6,000. So it says... Oh, since you're... So, okay, so your shelter's not level three, so you can't make it uh, the next upgrade, right? Yeah, not until... I guess we probably have to build some of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, you got to get to that, yeah. First. Okay, let me queue up for a match. Uh, actually, let me dump my... Sorry, Grumpier. We are a little bit confused because we haven't played it that much. We um, just... Uh, we kind of learning as we go. Uh, never Sorry, mind, Eric. Up. That was the last time I tried to help you. I told you not to shoot, and you helped the other guy kill me. I didn't know that was you, first of all. And second of all, we tried to save you because he shot... Aaron shot at the guy that was shooting you, and we never shot you. So... We didn't finish it. I don't know what to, I don't know what to say there. Uh, why don't you get in one more? And All right, then let's see this map. Call it a day. We'll see if we can find that. Uh, so when you upgrade your base, your material limit goes up. Okay. You need to buy the level two upgrade before you can repair and level up. Yeah, I mean, we don't have the material. We don't have the wire or the na the three other nails that we need. Is there any visible difference? No, it looks the same. Okay. I mean, it seems like the... Uh, yes, Michael, betting... Field. If you have Xbox Insider, you can download this for free right now. The beta, bigger beta. Seems Go like to the, the south side of your shelter. Your wood pile is full. Uh, it's probably the back side of it. Got a wood pile. Is it that? Yeah, you do have. Dang. Thanks, Rod. Ah. Just got 320 wood. Okay, so where would electronics be in our base? I don't think it's gonna be in the garden. <laughs> yeah, uh, we grow nails here. Yeah, I don't know. There's usually nails in every garden I've ever been in. 
Just saying. Thanks, Rod. Okay. If there's anything else we're forgetting, please tell us. Thank you. Uh, so are there other resource areas? Again, I'm sorry. sure as you build out your base, that's the stuff that you're getting probably. Totally. Right? So like state of decay a little bit, teeny bit. So go back to that second upgrade. Uh, we'll decrease the time of weapon crafting by 1%. I have not we'll generate 10 materials per hour. I've not crafted a weapon. Oh, yet. that's like wood. Okay. So crates. what's the name of this game? Ask Conor Reaper. Vigor is the name of the game. I mean, it's going to be important that you can craft weapons because you lose your weapons when you die. So if you don't want to be knifey McNiverson or like Luger McGee from the last round, Rod says plant tax, grow nails. <laughs> <laughs> if only it worked that way. One day. All right, we're, this is going to be our last match. Hopefully get an airdrop out of there. Um, see what we get from the crate. Maybe if we get lucky and we get enough material, somehow we can do it. But I think since we're like nine wire off, I don't see it happening. But I, I've yet to find any know? wire. I don't Maybe. actually know where the you wire is. It? Oh, wait, I didn't see it. Actually, I saw yeah. you get nails, not wire. Yeah. Of course, to be fair, we've been focusing Later, on the Big airdrop. Bad Wolf. Uh, we haven't been focusing on resources. The wood pile was the first upgrade you bought. Ah, gotcha. Thank you. Ah, cool. Thank you to the chat. Uh, we just opened a copy of this, what, yesterday and played a couple hours. A digital copy. <laughs> yeah. Unlock that digital copy. It's a good time. If you guys haven't subscribed, uh, you guys should. Uh, so you guys can find out when we go live and or when we put up cool features, uh, reviews, previews, gameplay, all that stuff. Um, another potato mode will be out in two days. Um, if you haven't watched potato mode, Joey takes some of the most beautiful looking games and turns them into mush. Um, also, you got Grave Hoppers, the second episode tomorrow uh, with Mike and Rob. If you guys haven't heard of Gave, Grave Hoppers, excuse me, it is a new live stream every Thursday at 2 p.m. Pacific where Mike and Rob will go through um, a list of games. And within that list of games, they're going to play it at a, um, I wouldn't say the hardest difficulty, but a harder difficulty um, and see how long they, they can survive in that game. If they make it through um, the episode, then they'll continue on to the next episode. But uh, let's take, for example, uh, the first episode. If you guys watched it, it was Far Cry 5. Um, and I won't spoil too much, but you can go watch to see if Rob survived his Far Cry 5 experience. If he didn't, obviously there's a new game tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow for that one as well. Um, but we're playing Vigor Beta uh, now on Xbox One. Uh, we're playing on a One X and... It's available for Xbox Insiders. We were able to finally extract a airdrop last game. We're gonna try to find another drop here and or you know find some materials, which is what part of the game is, looking for resources to bring back to your base. The airdrop obviously gives you that crate, which has more stuff in it, blueprints. Um, this looks like a place that you'd find like wire at, right? Oh, yeah, wire. there you go. Oh, six wire, yeah. All right, All right. so what do we need? Three more wire, so we just need to find another building with like a toolbox. I mean, honestly, uh, well, you want to run? And yeah, like I reload a game. <laughs> I don't want. Uh, you it, haven't died yet, Aaron. It wouldn't make it fun. You haven't died yet, so we're not gonna do it. But we yeah. found a shed, so if we die, we're losing this wire. But it's uh, we know what so it is. So you should get to the next set of buildings. We'll just keep looking for stuff, right? It's like there. Yeah, it's on the way. I think there's stuff underneath that too, like right there. But so we'll see. So we know the shed had some wire. So this is like Daisy, sense. a little bit. Um, it's made by the same uh, developer, Bohemia it's Interactive. Um, so found some stuff, which is good. Stuff we need for the next upgrade. So it actually, as Aaron mentioned, would suck if we lost it. But I'm going to force him to play it through because it'll add spiciness to this stream. If I was playing on my own, I would just get out right now and endure. I know you would, but two too loading bad. screens. Uh, That's can you team them up? Option. No. Well, not I, that we know of. I mean, I mean, other than like someone joining our game and helping us, like uh, Crime did last game. Were those two guys fighting each other? No. So Crime, yeah. the guy with no gun, was Crime from uh, the, yeah. from the stream, and he said he was acting as bait for us, as the other guy shot him. So we just didn't shoot the other guy in time to save Crime. Your but effort was valiant, and we salute you. I can't jump over it. Where are you going? By the way, uh, towards the marker, we were looking for more sheds. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully they'll all fight over the airdrop, which is, yeah, kind of in the direction we're going. <laughs> so I don't think 
It was like a shed in particular that had it. Yeah. There's a lot of gunfights. It's fights. basically you're just looking for toolboxes, right? Or yeah. like those kind of... Um, I don't want to jinx it, but this is where we got stabbed the first time. Oh, the in, the, in the hut? At the beginning of the stream. I don't want to end the stream the same way. Isn't that how we... Isn't this where we killed like two guys too, though? Yeah, this is a big fighting zone. I think it's because it's one of the only... Ta like big uh, Rich, I mean, that. this game is on Xbox, though, so that's one difference already. And I would say this looks, you know, better visually um, and graphically than, you know, some of their previous games, depending on how you look at it, uh, at least compared to, like, DayZ. But um, I think it's this is one for the... Oh, ooh, come shed. on. Come on. Yeah. Uh, is that wire? Yeah. Should we just get out and try it? Uh, do you have enough nails? How many nails was it? Do you uh, have fine? You can get out and upgrade. I guess now that we actually have enough, just find an exit. All right, it's the fine. exit's over here. Oh, he did vault that time. Letting him off the hook. Good job vaulting. This is not a battle royale alpha. All right, let's run back real quick. This is what the division should have been. Uh, I don't know about that, but I mean their survival DLC was fun enough. So if you wanted something like that, go do that. Here's where I will concede some of that point is a uh, division could have more survival elements to it, which the survival DLC, as Tay pointed out, kind of brought into it. But also Division, I don't know, could, you and I probably disagree on this a little bit, but I feel like it could have been a little bit less of an RPG. Um, like, I, I'd, I would have appreciated if the Dark Zone had just been a gun as a gun and there weren't two, you know, it was stats balanced, like Destiny, how uh, Destiny stats balances. That would have been tough because all your gear would not matter either then, too. And part of the, the reason the Division has like a nice little twist is that you can have like what armor sets and things like that that you're actually trying to achieve or get to so like not having that after spending like how many you know hours or whatever playing the game is kind of like weird to me because i mean even though you're level balanced in destiny for example right your guns still do what your guns are supposed to do and your exotic armors do what they're supposed to do too but um it's i, I see what you're saying and i think they probably still could have retained some of that in PvP. Like, was it Firebird, where a certain number of rounds just catch people on fire? But I don't know. Like, when you line up... So, it, when you have stats the way you do in Division, you can't get the drop on people. Like, you can have a sniper rifle and post up in the perfect spot, land the perfect headshot, and if the guy is just way higher level than you, it just doesn't do anything. Yeah, but that's how that game works, though, right? So, I mean, like, yes, in a in a... In a situation where like normally a sniper shot would kill you in one shot then sure but you know they've clearly said that it's oh we're short mm, no we're good no we're, okay, uh, we're, so we did the wood pile wood log level one so we're short for crafting table but we could do scrap bin sure. so what does scrap do bin do you generate something metal I, I couldn't read it fast enough it was like metal Generate parts per hour? Metal parts each hour. Sure. So Because if you do that, shouldn't you be level three at that point? If I do this? Yeah, because that's the third tier, right? So it says shelter level, so you'd be level three, and then you have enough technically materials to... It's not letting me do it, which means I think we needed 50 wire to do level two. Or I can just... Oh, you know what? It might Your be in line. Your build level's not high enough. All right. So, so if you do that, you'll get to build level two of 14, and the level three requires... Um, you to be build level six, so okay. Now you should just pretty much head back into a head back into a game because it doesn't sound like unless we have to wait for the build in progress. So it'll generate ten materials per hour now. Collect it regularly. It's placed next to the shelter on the south side. Okay, so, so that's, that's the wood pile. That's the wood pile. So now the wood pile will generate more stuff. Okay, makes sense. All right, we'll hop back into one last round. Yes, this is the last round. <laughs> Because Tay was nice enough to let me extract and figure Very out much. how the crafting works in this game. 1070s are expensive. Uh, should have dropped in price, but stayed high because of crypto miners. Actually, the funny thing is, like, yesterday, for, like, a very brief window of time, the 1070 Ti, I think, was, like, mispriced on Amazon. And if somehow you got that deal, good for you because it was less than $400, I think. I would have bought it if I had known about it sooner. I always hate how games that get the most hype evolve Division Destiny and Assassin's Creed Unity. They all come out shitty. I don't know. I thought Destiny eventually got uh, a lot better. Um, 
I enjoyed it. I still play it to some degree, but um, yeah. I will say Evolve. I, I appreciate games that try something new, even if it doesn't necessarily work. It was kind of like 10 minutes of chasing a monster's butt, which wasn't exactly compelling. I had fun playing as a monster. Yeah. I, I think like I never liked playing Evolve as one of the hunters because I just thought it was a pain in the ass to follow the monster. But as the monster, I was like, oh, cool. I know exactly what I'm trying to do here, right? I, I am trying to level up as fast as I can while avoiding hunters because I don't want to fight them at level one. And I can't wait because I want to level up and evolve into my next tier monster, either two or three, so that I can wreck the crap out of the hunters. Like that, yeah. that was fun to me. But I never enjoyed being the hunter, always trying to chase them down. And I know there's strats to like, you know, you like you snare them and, you know, try to like slow him down. We, you kill stuff so that he can't have upgrades and things like that. But like for me, it was always more fun to play as the monster. Same with like a game like Dead by Daylight, right? Like I always had more fun playing the killer than I did playing the people that like the survivors trying to like escape because yeah, totally. I don't know maybe I'm a person that wants to kill people I guess Here, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> here's what I would have done with evolve um I think there should have been more fights in any given round so I would have given the monster a life per level so that the monster would come around and fight you at least one time per per level that they were gaining mm. So like you would so have it was a, more fair or something. Yeah, so you would have like maybe four smaller monster fights per round as opposed to like just chasing them all over the map and then getting into one epic fight at the end. Uh, Maddie, you need to be an Xbox Insider, so make sure you have the Xbox Insider app first on the Xbox Store. Uh, Destiny is the worst game there ever was. Says Raj Raj. I don't know. I still think it's got some of the best uh, shooting mechanics and like like gun sounds and things like that. Um, I agree with you, uh, you dope who said the raids in D two are, are poop compared to D one raids. Um, yeah. Well, some D one raids were not that good, and D 2s raid, the main raid, is better than some of the D one raids, for sure. Um, as Tigamer says, yep, you must be an insider. D I will say that um, between D one and D two, I had children. Tay is a psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> D2 is so much better for, like, dads and people who can't put a ton of time into it. Uh, for casual players, it is... Oh, there's a person right in front of you. You saw him? He's down at that, that tr tree line, that second set of trees. Yeah, I see him. Question is, does he see me? Should I take a long shot? Mm, I would not, but it's up to you. <laughs> we'll, um, go, we'll go fight and whatever I happens, think it, happens. I think, just to kind of piggyback on what you said, I think that they went too much that way. They swung too far to the casual side and I hope that come forsaken that there's some balance because even now in the in the later part of Destiny 2's um, I don't know life cycle or whatever and, and all the updates and things like that they've definitely gone more back to the hardcore route or at least some of it is uh, and maybe some of that's just because it's more grindy but um, there, there definitely can be a balance I mean WoW learned a lot um, they kind of went too casual at one point and I think they find, found a, a good balance somewhere in between now Somewhere, something that the hardcores will still like to play, but the the casuals can still get into it. I hate to use the word casual, but I can't, like someone that doesn't, um, you know, throw many yeah. hours a day into a game. You know, they're probably playing like an hour or two, if that, a day. Um, you know, it's not. I I would not take that as a as an insult in, in mm -hmm. any way, shape, or form. I, I just think like a lot of us as we get older just have less time to yeah, put into. I could see it. that, and so, um knowing how much time I have to put in and what I'm going to get out of it, like the weekly milestones are perfect. This for is not a battle royale tricks. Man, that guy was running this direction and now... He's probably uh, looting. That's my guess. Look for some open doors unless he's smart about it. Oh, he's a little paranoid that they saw me and they just took a prone. Is this better graphics than PUBG for Xbox? I mean, yes. <laughs> but I mean, only from the standpoint of there's like less people on the map and the map isn't as big, not nearly as big, so... Um, from that standpoint, um, yeah. Oh, where'd that guy go? Nope, there he is. Got him. He's got no gun. I can already tell you that he's got no gun. Which way to go, left or right? He went back into the house, I think. Which would be really stupid. Maybe he ran. Maybe you're right. Maybe he, like, ran, ran down the cliff. What if you just did that every game? Just didn't bring a gun with you, and you're just looting to try to run out? There's a point where you might have to do that. Oh, where this guy I think go? he juked you, and he's out of there. Uh, Chazzy, AGS, long time no see. Yeah, what's up, man? It's a good opportunity for him to stab me. Um, 
Okay, so I agree with you on one thing, though, and that's... Well, I agree with you on plenty of things, but, like, uh, a Destiny 2 could have treated hardcore players better. Like it's, We're there now, I feel like. They, they were... They were so afraid of giving you things that I couldn't earn because I didn't have the time to earn it. And um, I think that was a mistake. Like, you you could have had the flaming fist of awesome or whatever that from the raid. And I'd respect that because I just don't have time to raid. And that's cool. You know, you don't have to give me everything as a casual player. Uh, are enemies real players? Yes, that we know of. Um, is it an open beta? It's... Only for insiders, so I don't know if that's technically open beta, but because I I've, I personally haven't had to try to like get onto Xbox Insiders, but it seems like downloading Xbox Insiders is not very hard. Um, so yeah, nails good. Eight nails is very good. He went into the house, uh, so I was right, Stone. It doesn't matter. Did he go back in that no, house? No, no, no. This it's we're on delay, so there's no yeah. way like. Now open the door. He left. <laughs> it's too late. Yeah. It's fine. It's too late. Sorry. We got delay, obviously. So, um, all right. Get some, some sweet meds. I didn't see which direction he ran. Close quarters fights are a bit janky in this game. It's kind of hard to... That's where I would store ammo. <laughs> Just in your, <laughs> your table. Your nightstand. I kind of want to open a window and get somebody out a window just because you can do it in this game. I haven't seen somebody out a window yet. See, like, these bags feel like they should have stuff. I don't know. It's early access, so maybe uh, we're just not there yet. I'm, yeah, but I mean, oh, that thing's, yeah. I just feel like they're not going to make it so easy to get stuff, right? Although, I guess there would be more incentive if you were able to just find things easier, but then I you would escape faster. So I don't know. Tension that that truck was searchable, by the way. Question is, did that guy go? There is ADS, Stefan. Um, uh, yep, that's like the only time you get first person like this when you ADS. I'm a little bit worried about the capability to dolphin dive too, which people haven't really fully figured out yet. But got some metal parts, so you can. Daisy esque, yes, Manny. Although I can't, since you're not listening to the audio, I guess that didn't come through. <laughs> Shotguns are real good at close range, actually. You got to watch out. Do you have a shotgun? Uh, not on me right now, but I definitely craft one. One shot at a dude. I actually found. Oh, it. airdrops coming in. Who is messaging me on the Slack? Might as well get an airdrop. And Peta. see how it goes. All right, we'll go up to airdrop, and then we'll go ahead and end the stream there. <laughs> see if we can get another crate. Or die trying. What is that? Oh, we got so. Oh, 731. 731. Yep. Oh, I saw the airdrop. There it is. It actually fell. Oh, nice. It's got a little pair. Is that a parachute or is that a rock? No, it's got a parachute. Okay. Must have got caught in a tree. I'm going to say it got caught in a tree. It's early access. <laughs> beta. It's only beta. If we can grab that airdrop, we can just go straight down the mountain here. All right. Let's do it. Assuming we don't get hella jacked. Uh, what do you think is No Man's Sky? Now, Yes Man's Sky? Uh, from the little that I've heard in the office of the people playing the current update, they're they're definitely enthusiastic about next week. We're going to be playing um, No Man's Sky next week for sure on Tuesday. We might even do like a little pre pre-update type like stream on Monday. Uh, I know Rob, Jake are pretty deep into it. And then um, Mike starting on PC and then Peter swapping from PS4 to PC too. So curious to see, you know, what the multiplayer looks like that they kind of uh, teased with the trailer yesterday. Uh, but yeah, we'll definitely be getting into some No Man's Sky next week, guys. So if you guys are interested in that or curious about that, you should check it out. And No Man's Sky is going to be out for Xbox for those that haven't um, played it yet and are looking for uh, a game to play. It could be um, a lot better just because of all the updates and, and some of the stuff coming from the next update. Next. All caps, next. Um, so for to get this game, you need to be an Xbox Insider, which you need to get from the store, and then once you're an Xbox Insider, search for it that way. Um, but if you're not an Insider, you won't be able to get this game for free. We are. Ch uh, do you know if you run faster without a gun in your hand? Someone I was saying you do, but I don't know if that's fact or not. But maybe. I think it's safer to have your gun out. Maybe. Yeah, I don't want to run with a gun, a gun in my hand. Oh, you're afraid? 
I am. I got the thing, and everybody knows where I am. Uh, it's it's a beta for those that are Xbox insiders. Solar, so sort of, sort of not open. Um, all right, we're trying to get out. Hopefully, this box has better stuff for us. We have ran into no opposition. Don't jinx me. No, you ran into no opposition. No one's even following you. Easy life, easy stream. It landed. I would have rather have had somebody. Yeah. Landed Want plans on War Warframe stuff? I mo faces. You know, I always kind of wanted to get into Warframe. I just knew that it would be a huge time sink if I did because at that time I was playing a lot of Destiny. But everyone was saying if you play Destiny, you should play Warframe. And anyways, uh, I just don't have that time anymore to go YOLO on start a game over again. To start to start from scratch. And I heard like Warframe when you're first starting out, you almost want to try to. Like you hope to have like somebody that's knowledgeable about the game because there's a lot of systems in that game, yeah. And and it's easier if someone's there to kind of like guide you along a little bit. Um, Bob Jones saying I'm gonna get Warframe on Switch. Yeah, that could be a th the thing that helps you know propel more players. Let's, let's see what we get from the crate. It's buzzing. <laughs> it's controlling it vibrate, but quite a lot. A thousand material, a thousand fifty materials, and an A74K. Sure. Cool. Uh, oh, you know what sucks. What's that? We were capped, and you don't get any more materials on top of your 6,000. <laughs> so, oh, because... Oh, that's so silly. I mean, this game is kind of punishing. That's so silly that you can't go over your max, but all right. Because, like, what else are you going to spend it on? So or what well, you could craft... Could you have crafted, like, a weapon or something? Would that have taken up the parts? Let's... Uh, so the crafting bench is downstairs, but I haven't... Like, I know... Here, we'll take a quick look before we end. Um, there's a... There's a crafting bench down here, and it seems like a place where I should be able to do this. So improve, customize, resources, character gesture. Thanks, Gaming Gecko. Appreciate it. There was somewhere in here before where you could actually screw with individual weapons somehow, but I don't see a a weapon crafting thing. Well, okay, here we go. Craft. Okay, now I got it. So, so if I want to craft an AK, so we have the blueprints now. So I can craft these. Okay, cool. So what does this cost me? I uh, oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, so yeah. So okay. So you want to spend your p <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never <so> go out <laughs> with full materials because you're gonna come back and craft. Yeah, you gotta craft first. And but then it's it's weird because it it asks you if you want to deconstruct parts of the weapon, right? Well, because you have one to deconstruct, right? So, so you can repaint, which is not there yet. You can craft, which is not an option yet. Why not? For some reason, it wouldn't let me craft it. But I did, didn't I just get that blueprint? You All just right. hold that. Craft. X, right? Oh. Craft is a. It's it's uh blanked out right now. Maybe you have too many. I don't. It know. could be that it's not the one that I got. So let's uh, try craft. You to craft a weapon. You need to find the weapon you want to craft like six times and dismantle it. And you need points. So you have to find it. Thanks, Luke. Okay, so I have... Why don't, you, why don't you break one of those down? Yeah. Why don't you deconstruct that bad boy? Okay, so... <laughs> Sick. Can you Oh, there we go. There you go. Do you want to deconstruct this weapon to get a part? Sure. Yes. Random part. What do we get? It didn't say. Let's just do it. We're doing all of it. All right, we're doing another random part. <laughs> okay, so you can see here on the left, it's starting to give us... So we have these parts. Oh, that you can then deconstruct as well. Okay. You can actually deconstruct that one now. Sure. All right. Three, no! <laughs> <laughs> so we have too much money now, and, and it capped ah, out. We got to make a gun first. Make Go make a gun before we deconstruct anything else. Except you can't craft that one. What did we pick up? We we definitely got that one. The sum the sumi whatever. I know for sure we got that blueprint. Craft. There you go. That only costs eight hundred, and it only take it's less than a minute to make. Okay, and that takes the resources there from up there. From up there, yeah. Perfect. Now now we can deconstruct. Actually, yeah. you probably want to make more stuff, but whatever. It only let me make one. So now I can also apparently make ammo. It, it's although it's not really like okay. Here we go. Wait, no. So right trigger. There you go. Ammo, craft. Okay, so now what about consumables. 
So we can craft parabellums. Oh, you can't craft any we of that. We can craft this. Check it out. Antibiotics. You can? No, it says... Yep. Oh, okay. Grenade. We can craft it. No, we no. can't. <laughs> okay, so we have to break gather parts. So we're still in the gathering parts phase. Okay, this is making a lot more sense now. So you have to gather the resources in the world. You have to break it down to make the blueprint, and then you can craft it from this menu. All right. That seems like why we're going to get a bunch of, like, knifey McNifersons on this. Yeah, you got to knife it out. All right, Aaron. What a stream. Uh, that was Bigger Beta. Uh, for those on the Xbox Insider, uh, get on that if you want to try it out. Um, Aaron, last thoughts before we get out of here on Vigor? Or yeah. maybe maybe first thoughts, I guess, since you've only really played for a couple hours now. Yeah, I mean, first thoughts are it, it's a survival game. It's not even necessarily a game where you have to fight other people. Um, you get materials, you break them down at your base, you upgrade your base, and you decide whether you want to fight or not, depending on how much risk you want to take, or you'll end up with a knife. You'll be the only man with a knife. Some people can't aim, though. That, ni that knife is actually pretty deadly. Um, yeah, so that's kind of just a, a quick look at that. Uh, I'm sure as it kind of progresses, as the game Vigor progresses, we'll probably maybe check it out again. Um, this is a new map if, for those that were playing it earlier this week. I think there was like a wintry map the last last time. Yeah, it was now interesting. kind of like here, or it, not here, but on that map. What was it Fisk Factory? Yeah, here's the map right? real quick. So so the the two maps yesterday. Oh, here, I got to go back to yeah. then. So the two maps yesterday were Dragford, and then there was like a snowy map in the upper right corner. So I'm guessing it rotates around okay. Norway. Cool. Uh, but yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in. We'll see you guys back tomorrow uh, at 11 for GameSpot Daily, 11.30 for GameSpot Live, and then 2 for Grave Hoppers. So we got three live streams tomorrow. Come back, hang out with us. Appreciate it. If you haven't subbed, you guys should sub um, for a multitude of reasons just to get informed when we go live. Uh, all the cool features we do, all the cool reviews, previews, uh, things like that. Um, thanks, Aaron, for playing. Thank you, Tay. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. See you. Have a good one.